So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to fly with a firearm. So you need three things to fly with a firearm. You need a uh, hard sided lockable rifle case or gun case. You need uh, some pretty good locks and you need some know-how. So with your rifle case or gun case, you will pretty much want the sturdiest case that you can find out there. Like I, I highly recommend uh, Pelican cases. Uh, flown with one of those for a long time. They're very sturdy. The gun cases do really get beat up, especially if they're really heavy, they get dropped and stuff like that. So you want a case that's sturdy enough to protect the gun, but also sturdy enough to hold it so that it doesn't, you know, come open and, you know, the rifle fall out somewhere or get lost. If you're going to be flying a lot with the gun, I, I highly recommend that you invest in a good case, like a, like a Pelican case. So next you're going to need some locks. So a lot of people think that you need TSA locks in order to fly with a firearm, and you actually don't. You can just put uh, regular locks on your case. And uh, here are three locks that I use. So uh, just a little master lock, a little uh, full metal one, this is plastic, and also I've flown with a combination lock. Now none of these are TSA, and because the way it works with the locks on your firearm cases is that if anyone needs to get into your firearms case, they will call you over the intercom and then you'll go and you know give them the combination or give them the key and then they'll open it in front of you and you can see what they're doing. Um, I've had that happen only once out of all the times that I've flown with guns. And it's funny because they weren't really interested. They didn't really care about the gun in the case. They were just inspecting the foam that was inside the case. They're just kind of patting it down to make sure there wasn't anything hidden. So now you're at the airport with your firearm in the lock case. Uh, if it's a pistol, I, if it's in a small pistol case, I would advise putting it inside of another baggage. So put it inside like a, a checked luggage that you're going to be carrying with you and then just check the whole thing. Now, when you go up to the counter, you're going to have to talk to an actual person. You're not going to go one, one of those like automated computer self check in things. You want to actually talk to a human being and you want to say to them, I need to declare a firearm or I have a firearm to declare. You just need to make sure that you say firearm and declare. That's the that's the important part. Don't try to say gun. Gun's kind of a scary word nowadays. Just it's easier to say I need to declare a firearm. I've done that a lot of times, and I've it's pretty interesting how nonchalant all the airlines people that I've talked to are about it. It's just not a big deal. I'm I'm sure they go through it a lot. So don't feel self conscious about it. They go through it a lot, and as soon as you do it, it's you'll realize that it's not a big deal. So pretty much the one thing that you have to fill out in order to you know, check, a, check a gun is a little firearms declaration tag. So this is specifically for Southwest Airlines. So if you have a rifle case, they'll ask you to open it and you will put this inside of the rifle case. Um, if you have a small pistol case and it's going inside of check luggage, they'll usually tape this on the outside of the pistol box. So as soon as you fill this out and it's in the, the case, you know, they, they'll take it from you or they'll have you carry it over to TSA, something like that. And they'll usually tell you to, hey, wait five to 10 minutes or 15 minutes or however long. So you wanna make sure that you'll get to the airport early because you might have to sit and wait for 10 or 15 minutes just to make sure that it goes through security, make sure that they don't call you because you don't wanna be going through security and then you know, have them call you over the intercom and have to go all the way back. So you just fly like normal, you get to your destination and uh, the latest policy that I heard, and this is what they did the last two times I've flown with firearms, uh, they don't just put it out with like the regular luggage. It comes out in like a, a separate special sort of, um, you know, like a little slide for the, for the luggage. And there'll be a person there and they either check your baggage claim receipt or they'll check your ID and make sure that it matches the name on your uh, luggage tag on the firearm case. So they'll, they'll check those just to make sure they match up before giving it to you. And that's pretty much it. You just carry it out of the airport and it's just pretty much not a big deal. So try not to feel self-conscious about it. And I hope that this video will maybe um, help give you confidence with flying. Uh, I highly recommend it. You need, to, you need to fly with guns because you need to go places and you need to protect yourself. And of course, look up the laws of the places that you're going to and make sure that your gun and your magazines are legal at the place that you're going to. And if they're not legal there, don't go because you don't, you don't need to be going to a non-free state anyway. So I appreciate you watching. Um, if you would, please subscribe. That really helps me out. And I'll see you next time.